Imagine if he could make your voice sound like this. Or this. Or even this. Eleven Labs is the ultimate tool that every creator needs in their toolbox. I'm going to show you the secret to unleashing Eleven Labs. I'm David. I'm here to help you get paid for doing more of the things you love. Hit the subscribe button if you're into that. Let's jump into my laptop. Okay, but when you log into Eleven Labs, this is the homepage. I want to talk about voices because this is the central component of Eleven Labs is taking voices and having them say things that you want them to say. Jump in the nav here to voices. The place where you'll start with voices is most likely the voice lab. And this is where you can select the voices that you want to use in your text to speech creations, or even if you're creating your own custom voice. So the way that the voice library works is that Eleven Labs has pre-populated dozens of different voices in the voice lab. You can choose the type of voice that you want for whatever content that you're creating. So you can have narrative and story, conversational, characters and animation. Let's say that we click on characters and animation. And the first one here is Jack the Pirate. The way that you can hear uh, a voice is just by clicking on sample. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Draw a partner and let's settle this like real cowboys. You can choose from any of these. Let's see what Annie sounds like. Life without love is like a tree without blossoms or fruit. And what you'll also notice here is that each voice clone has different characteristics to them, how you can use it, and it'll show you how many times it's being used so you can see how popular it is. You can see here, this is a professional voice clone and then there are terms. This is available for 90 days. It's a voice design. And you can see how many times it's used, uh, 1.1 million times and 962 users. This can give you a sense of the popularity of the different voices on the platform. If you know specifically what type of voice that you're looking for, you can go over here to this filter nav here and you can click on uh, categories. So voice design are designed by Eleven Labs and professional are actual voiceovers. A voice design, you usually have pretty much free reign over. Professional is similar to this where you'll see it's professional and then there are specific terms. So there's two years for this. And after two years, this may or may not remain on 11 labs to be used. You can filter by gender. So if we filter by female or we filter by male here, say we want young and there's different languages. We'll default to English because I won't be able to understand anything else. This is Alex, a vibrant British male. But let's just play the sample. You know what you need to do. Giving yourself excuses to avoid what must be done is true self-sabotage. We like this voice. We can just add it to the voice lab. So we add the voice and we click on finish. And then if we go over to voice lab over here, we will see down here at the bottom, Alex. So we just added this voice here and then we can use it. But you have to add voices to the voice lab before you can actually use them. What are some other ways that we can add voices to the voice lab? You can uh, design your own voice, which means you can give these general filters like what we saw before, uh, female, male, young, and then you can say accent and you have these different accents. So say we want to do female, we want her to be young and we want her to have a African accent. So let's click on generate. First, we thought the PC was a calculator. Then we found out how to turn numbers into letters, and we thought it was a typewriter. You can see here the way that Eleven Labs, it works with credits. There's a free plan. There's a limited number of credits in that plan. As you start using Eleven Labs, you'll most likely upgrade. And the tiers that we have are starting at $5 a month, so it's really reasonable for what you get out of it. If after this video you decide you want to upgrade, I put the link to upgrade below. Testing this voice costs about 128 credits. And this is the number of credits that I have here remaining. If we want to generate this voice, let's make this a little bit stronger of an accent and let's replay it. First, we thought the PC was a calculator. Then we found out how to turn numbers into letters. And we thought it was a typewriter. We like this and we want to use this voice. We save this and then we need to give it a name. Let's call it Tia and just create the voice. Another way you can create a voice is called instant voice cloning. You can upload about a minute of audio and then that'll get turned into a voice. 
I've cloned my voice here. I'll just test it out so you can hear it. So this is my voice. Hello world. It's not the best, but it works. And we've used this in the case where we're doing a paid ad and we want to do a voiceover from the founder. We had the founder record about a minute of a script of an audio for us. We'll feed it in here and then we can use it for different purposes. If you want really high quality professional voice cloning, you'd use this, this section here. You have to upload roughly two to six hours of high quality audio from a microphone for this to actually work. That sound that you heard of me before, it didn't really sound like me, but this professional voice cloning is super high quality. Now we have all of our voices. We have two ways to generate speech. The first one is text to speech that you can put text in here and it will say what you want. All right, so why don't we create our first audio? Hit the like button. Let's use Aphrodite for that. Hit the like button. Okay, so, so that's kind of the very basics of creating a voice on all Lab and Labs is that you just put some text in, you select the voice, and then you hit generate speech. And down here at the bottom, you'll see this uh, control where you can play it. And, if you, and then if you want to download the audio that you just generated, you just click on download. Why don't we grab my introduction line from this video and let's just have Aphrodite say it. So once you click on generate speech, the audio that you've generated will pop up here down in this bottom panel here. Imagine if you could make your voice sound like this or even this. Yeah, it sounds pretty robotic, right? The way that we make it sound more lifelike is we can click on this voice settings panel here and you scroll down and what you'll see is that you can have different stability. We just want to bring stability down to about 30%. When you toggle below 30%, it leads to more instability. The higher it is, the more monotone the voice sounds. We want to bring this down to 30% range. And similarity, we can keep high because that is how adheres to the intonation of the voice versus the emotion behind the voice. Click on generate speech. Let's see what this sounds like. Imagine if you could make your voice sound like this or even this. So it sounds a little bit better, right? Another setting that we can update is uh, this uh, style exaggeration. If you exaggerate too much, it says over 50% may lead to instability. So let's keep it just around 45% and let's play it again. Imagine if you could make your voice sound like this or even this. And so that sounds more real and it really does bring your uh, voice to life. We have a poem that we want to create a voiceover for. Let's paste the poem here and let's find a voice. Lisa, calm and alluring, pleasant, conversational. The best thing about the future is that it only comes one day at a time. Let's just use that and let's generate this speech. The moon and stars. The moon is shining oh so bright, glowing in the starry night. Twinkling stars up in the sky, winking, blinking way up high. The moon, a gentle silver glow, watches over earth below. Stars like diamonds sparkling clear, bringing wonder, calming fear. Moon and stars, a lovely sight keeping watch all through the night. So we want Lisa to whisper. The prompt to get Lisa to whisper is just enter quotes around it and just say, she whispers quietly and generate. She whispers quietly. The moon and stars. The moon is shining oh so bright, glowing in the starry night. Twinkling stars up in the sky. Winking, blinking way up high. The moon, a gentle silver glow. Watches over earth below. That's a little bit lower. You can hear that. Say we want her to say it more aggressively. So she says aggressively. She says aggressively. The moon and stars. The moon is shining oh so bright, glowing in the starry night. Twinkling stars up in the sky, winking, blinking way up high. The moon, a gentle silver glow, watches over earth below. You can't feel aggression, but it's a, it's a little bit more uh, amped up. Say we want to have the voice pause in different sections of the audio instead of just reading it all the way through. So we can either put dot ellipsis and, or we can put hyphens. Let's put ellipses where we want it to create more pause. The moon is shining. Oh, so bright, Chloe. Put some here. And if we want to have it here, and then we want to have it here, 
And if we want the end to be a little bit more dramatic, we could do this. The moon and stars. The moon is shining. Oh, so bright glowing in the starry night. Twinkling stars up in the sky, winking, blinking, way up high. You can hear how that changed. Say we wanted to add a three-second break after the voice reads the title. Well, let's do that. Let's get rid of these ellipses and let's add a break time at three seconds. Click on generate speech. The moon and stars. The moon is shining. Oh, so bright glowing. E in the starry night. Twinkling stars up in the sky, winking, blinking, way up high. That three second break. Do you hear that? Now, if you really want to control the speech, I'm going to show you how to use speech to speech. That speech to speech is really cool because what you can do is you can take an uploaded audio or you can record the audio. We click on the record button. I'm just going to record this audio here. The moon and stars. The moon is shining oh so bright, glowing, starry in the night, twinkling stars up in the sky, winking, blinking, way up high. And so that is my rendition of the moon and stars. Thank you. Thank you. Let's pause it. And then we can have Lisa recite the poem the way I just read it. I'm just going to record this audio here. The moon and stars. The moon is shining oh so bright, glowing, starry, in the night. Twinkling stars up in the sky, blinking way up high. And so that is my rendition of the moon and stars. Thank you. Thank you. How crazy is that? So that's really how you can control the emotion behind audio. You can read it yourself or you can have someone read it and then you can overlay an Eleven Labs voice on top of it. And so that's a really powerful thing is that you don't have to just rely on typing text in or even trying to add these tags or spaces. You can direct the AI to say what you want, how you want to say it. Okay, so that's how you use uh, text-to-speech Speech to speech, that's how you get emotion out of the voices. Say we want to take an audio that we've generated and we want to dub it into a different language. We can create a new dubbing project, have this say test dub. It'll automatically select the language, but we can select English. And then we can just click on Spanish. And we can just drag and drop the audio that we just generated. And this is what the audio sounded like before. The moon and stars. The moon is shining. Oh, so bright glowing in the starry night. Twinkling stars up in the sky, winking, blinking, way up high. Let's just create this. It'll take a second, and you can see it processing here, and then you can view it. Come view, and then we can just play it. Yes. Oh, tan brillante, resplandeciendo en la noche estrellada. Estrellas centelleantes en el cielo, guiñando, parpadeando, muy arriba. If we like it, we can just download it. It's super powerful. Anything that you create, you can translate from your native language to any other language. This is such a powerful tool. And the only limit is your imagination. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If it was helpful, hit the like button so more people can see it. If you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.